Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Debonair, and I am the host of the Debonair Gaming Channel, which is new to your ears, but not to the game. Uh, currently coming to you guys from the HQ, and I hope that you are enjoying your 2018. Thank you guys for stopping by the Debonair Gaming Vlog Channel, and I appreciate it. Take the time to head uh, to the description and subscribe to the gaming channel as well and also um hit the notification button so you know as soon as i put out the newest content but today i wanted to talk about my progress in becoming a video game developer and starting my new youtube well starting a youtube channel and and getting my uh, setup situated so that i can provide you guys with better videos and better and better uh, quality if you currently using a new uh, lighting source um, which makes video vlogging easier because now you can see my face um, so I'm hoping that you guys appreciate it and once again if you like you can comment subscribe all the good stuff so what kind of game I wanted to specialize in making uh, is VR and AR more specifically AR video games don't know what VR or AR is I don't know how you got to the channel um, but VR is for virtual reality AR is augmented reality I think when you merge the two you get something called mixed reality although uh, there are different definitions of uh, what mixed reality truly is and so what it is that I wanted to create or the first thing that I was going to create was going to be uh, uh, AR for a lot of games such as uh, Mega Man Battle Network. If you don't know what that is, don't worry about it. It's not that important to you. Um, but uh, I decided that I think I thought if I'm going to get into uh, augmented reality, I probably should do something simple. Um, so what I had decided was I'm going to do a mixed reality trainer. Um, this trainer came from the idea that. Uh, I personally want to get in better shape and but I want to do the least amount of work and effort in order to get into shape uh, I just gotta really focus on my diet haven't been worrying about it that much but now that I've said it to you guys I might as well right um, so it either was a video or it was an article or it was a, um, a news clip that I had seen or maybe a tabloid clip that I had seen it's a uh, an art, it was it was about Aegis Elba, and they asked him, "How does he stay in such good shape?" Now I don't know how well his shape is. It's not like I'm looking at him, you know, all the time. It's not like I've seen him naked. You know, most of the time we see him in a suit. Nonetheless, he does look, you know, like a dude in a suit, like a handsome dude in a suit. You know what I mean? So I was like, "Oh, okay." Um, and what he said, what he stated was, you know, they asked him, "Does he, you know, lift weights?" He says, no, he doesn't lift weights. What he does is he shadow boxes. He, he does basically cardio. You're Billy Blanks. You're, you're Sean T's. You know, that kind of stuff. And I mean, Sean T's is in relatively good shape, too. Billy Blank was in really good, relatively good shape. I don't know. I'm showing my age. If, if any of you guys remember Billy Blake, do you remember Billy Blake? Are you old enough to remember Billy Blake? Comment in the comment section below. Let me know. But, um, yeah, so... But me personally, just like talking to the camera right now, I mean, I'm getting more comfortable with it, but talking to the camera feels stupid. <laughs> and shadow boxing feels stupid. I think it would feel better probably in like a gym with a mirror, but it's not like you go to Planet Fitness and then you shadow box. It's, it's a little weird. Um, and there's no mirrors in my house, although I would love to place, you know, make my walls into mirrors. It's in specific rooms. So, um, so yeah, so with that being said, I was like, what if I made an augmented reality or a virtual reality trainer? And that's where the idea came now. The reason why I didn't want to make the virtual reality trainer is because, um, virtual reality, I feel isn't really safe. Second, um, I'm, I'm designing it for Android because I know a lot of people have the Android phone. And so I figured more people would have. Access. I went to the Android market to see if it's available, and totally, you know, there's a couple VR trainers, but again, you can't see your own hands. 
uh, they don't really have that much of a way for you to physically interact with the character. So overall, what you're looking at or what you're doing is just that's not a workout. That doesn't give you a really good workout. Now, the problems I'm having originally was with, uh, you know, being able to see your hands. But now I think instead of making it markerless, I'll make you just be able to print out the markers, stick them to whatever you need to stick them to. And voila, that'll allow you to show your hands. Um, there's also some code or a tutorial that I can use that may also allow me to uh, be able to see my hands inside that world. But I'm going to have to wear gloves so that the camera knows the difference between the glove and then anybody could just get, you know, a, a pair of black gloves from the dollar store and do the same thing. Um, so I'm hoping that goes well and that's still not markerless. That's just using the gloves as a marker, which is pretty good. That's pretty awesome. Um, so I'm thinking I'm definitely going along that route. And then we'll go to a more... So I'm, I'm wondering whether I should do marker a vast assortment. So I've made a playlist. The link to that will be in the description as well. And, and you guys can go look. So yeah, so as you can see though, I'm cleaning up the room. It's almost complete. It's almost done. It always gets messy and then I got to uh, clean it up again. <laughs> so um, forgive me because sometimes I'm looking at myself just making sure I don't look too crazy and yeah so if you guys enjoy content like this if you guys enjoy gameplay content um if you guys enjoy good content then make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification bell um so you know as soon as i put the newest content out a lot of my vlogs are going to go from my other channels and going to be transported here so you're going to be watching a lot of, uh, uh many new things if you're interested in game development if you're inter no, if you're interested in game development, because that's that's mostly what I focus on, and um, and you want to get into making games with me, I would appreciate it if you would comment in the comment section below and let me know. Um, I'll also place my email, my per my, my my personal email in there, or my Debonair Gaming email in there, so that you can contact me, let me know what you're trying to get into. Um, I'm learning. I'm not you know a professional, if you will. I'm learning, so. You know, we can learn together. <laughs> um, we can bounce back ideas, and I'll be getting back.